Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I want to excuse my like low to medium voice level right now because Ethan's on my right. We want him to nap through most of this video because there is so much to talk about. Okay, so I don't want to make this intro any longer than it should be. So let's get it started. I know this isn't a video that everybody would like want to see but i feel like there should be some explaining as to why we have been missing 2020 honestly on youtube and although youtube is something i am grateful for and like i mean i feel like we're not taking advantage of because we're already monetized and it's like okay there's other people who would like to be in my situation and would take advantage of it but with the growing family with work it's it's a little hard there are two sides as to why we haven't been uploading one side is something we well we can talk about i just choose not to until it happens because um the end of 2019 was like really rough there was i mean it wasn't rough it was pretty much like a day or two of roughness but that day or two really opened my eyes and thanks to that i'm kind of like so done with the little girl mindset and it's kind of like if i set myself to something i'm gonna set myself to something and in it and it's not for anybody else it's for myself and my family and i don't need to explain something i don't want to until i'm ready just to prove myself to anybody you know because um I just feel like if I do explain th what's going on there before it happens, I don't want bad energy because I am uh, I am an energy believer because I sense it on people and I have never ever in my life been wrong about my energy towards anybody and ending up 2019 really proved that to me. So it's like I feel like those people can really send me bad energy, bad luck. And I don't want that because I really want this to happen. So I don't want to explain what it is. They don't need to know. I don't need to prove myself to anybody. Except for you guys, obviously. But it's the thing like I have you guys and I love you guys. But there's those people that I wish just were like gone. Um, That portion, I'm just not going to talk about it. I'm pretty sure you guys already asking yourself questions but like that video will come hopefully sooner than later most likely within a month it should be up but edgar and i have to be together in that video to like explain he's not in this video because if i relied on him with this video it would never be uploaded and the second portion is kind of like this is the main thing but everything else is like i could talk about like Nobody can send me bad vibes towards this because it's already happening, you know. So, the first reason I personally haven't been uploading is because I have started so many habits as of 2020. Like I said, 2019 was like a year where I was like hoarding so many things. People in my life, objects. And the ending of 2019, it's kind of like the year where I got my trash and finally decided to get rid of it it's not just laying around leaving this nasty smell you know so i started a lot of habits and in my mind i was kind of like you know what i need to stop i always set habits every single year and i never go through it so in my mind what i've been doing lately is i keep reminding myself of those habits i got a bullet journal I love stationaries, but whenever I buy notebooks, bullet journals, I never ever finish them. I always like go 10 pages into them and then I forget about them. But no, every day I'm reminding myself, okay, bullet journal, bullet journal. And why bullet journal? Because my bullet journal has everything else in it. I always relied on like agendas and all that, but I'd always have like 10 agendas because I like... I had a budgeting one I had um and then like since I had so much stuff I never really focused on one thing I'd start budgeting one week and forget about meal planning and then I would have a meal planning notebook it was crazy so in my bullet journal I get to put what categories I want it where I want it and that has been helping but um 
a habit, like I said, is budgeting. I was so tired. Well, Edgar and I owed a lot at the end of December because Christmas season, it's not that we didn't have the money. It's that we had it. But in our brains, we were like, we're going to work our credit cards a little bit. We're going to pay it with credit cards. And then in two weeks, with the money we already have, we'll pay the credit cards. Or like divide it in two payments. And then there, we're done. It's done. But we did that constantly. And then that money that was supposed to go into the credit, we'd be like, oh, we have money. Let's spend it on something else. That really frustrated me, especially because personally, I don't know that much. But Edgar is such a spender. So I was like, you know what? You give me your paycheck every monday because he gets paid every monday and i'll budget it out it's been working out great half his credit is gone we're saving a bunch of money but like instead of filming a video i'm over here in my notebook budgeting why because when ethan's up i like spending time with him it sucks because sometimes i'm like on my phone looking at like budgeting tips or tips for like my other um hobbies and it's kind of like okay that's another thing I've been focusing on is my family. So I'm going to put this aside, focus on Ethan. He has nap time. I'm going to do the rest. So I've been budgeting. It's been working except for like these last past two weeks. If we have something in an envelope, because I do cash envelope system. But it's like flexible and we're not using that money. Edgar and I are like, we should go out to eat and use that money and just fill it in with the next paycheck. The second thing that I kind of got into is bullet journaling. I've been bullet journaling and in my bullet journal, I'm budgeting. And in my bullet journal, I'm writing like my appointments and everything, especially with the baby and one on the way. Um, it has little like pages specifically for like money. It's, it kind of has our bills, how much they are and how much um, or when it's due. And that, that really helps. I don't want to really get into like those things because I want a personal video for everything. Sorry, I wanted a hiccup. But I scared my hiccup away. Yeah, huh? Someone's up. Say hi! <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Okay. The third thing that has been keeping me from filming, and these are mostly me because I'm the one doing all of this, uh, it's meal prepping. I kind of didn't like how I wouldn't, Edgar wouldn't eat lunch at work. And I'm kind of like, I don't want to be sexist and be like, oh, wife always has to cook a man's food. Because I mean, he can cook for himself and he does sometimes. Like whenever I'm sick, which is rarely. But um, I also, like, if he would take food, it would be chimichangas, hot pockets, <laughs> cup of noodles. And I was like... I'm feeding this to my husband? Like, no, what the heck? And it sucks because I couldn't do anything about it because pregnant, going to work, taking care of uh, the baby. I would rarely have time to, I mean, cook, let alone make a separate lunch for him because I didn't want him to eat like, okay, we ate spaghetti today, you're gonna take spaghetti to work tomorrow. We made um, tuna salad today, so you're gonna take tuna salad tomorrow. So that's... That's one thing that's been keeping me up, meal prepping, and then not only that, meal planning for the meal prepping, you know? Okay, what I've been starting recently this week is learning or teaching myself how to cut in bulk, right? Which is um, fitness terms. I want to be ready to fitness after baby girl. I can't do all that right now because, I mean... I didn't do that before the pregnancy, so starting something new can really affect um, the pregnancy. So um, what I'm doing right now is instead of wasting time and being like, I'll just push it off until I give birth and then eventually be unmotivated because I don't know what to do and then be stressed out. I'm kind of like learning or all the questions I have, I am trying to find specific answers. That way I can make a plan. I'm also going to get a trainer, but I don't want to go in not knowing what I'm doing. That's fitness. And now I'm moving on to minimalizing. Let's just say I got really tired of everything I had. Like, if I were to move, I have to take all of this with me. Like, no. 
So I've been into minimalizing. And slowly, but it's kind of like, in my mind, I'm like, oh, I want to minimalize, but buy a lot of new things and get rid of the old things, which has been happening, honestly. But um, specifically in clothes, I'm thinking like, okay, I have a lot of colorful clothes. I got rid of, of a lot of my colorful clothes. My color palette is like two white shirts and everything else is black, which I hate. And which is why I'm kind of like, I should go buy more white clothes and nude. Summer is coming, so I got to get that done. I have to work with what I have, especially now that I'm pregnant. What's the point of buying clothes if in four months, literally, because I'm due in June 10th, um, well, less than four months now, I'm going to be giving birth, and with my body goals, that's going to change too. And usually, moral of the story is the less you have, the less, I mean, the happier you are. I mean, you have less to clean, you have less to stress you out, less to be out of place, um, less clutter, I and mean, we all know, like, a white room empty room or something don't you're purposely squirting it a white room can be really relaxing especially if like there's not much in it so it's like i want to walk into my um apartment and be like oh. yeah like that ethan just like so and be like yes yeah we're i'm at work if i'm not at work edgar's at work and if that and if we're home together we're sh grocery shopping we're budgeting we're going through paperwork we're doing this this and that so everything is just kind of like not adding up right now which i hope hopefully once baby girl comes it all settles hopefully after that thing we can't talk about comes half of it settles at least but other than that um with our lives, I mean, Ethan's about to be one in a couple of weeks, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, and it's kind of like scary for me as a mom. It's kind of like you're already one, like a whole year. It doesn't feel like you've been with me for a whole year. Even though he's a brat now, but it's the baby girl. And the baby girl is currently 24 weeks, about to be 25. And um, that means 15 more weeks to have her here so we're also waiting for her um let's see let's see if i can show you my belly let's show them our bellies ethan it's not that big literally is it big is it big show them your belly ethan. that's the end of this video hope you guys like it um if you have any questions if you have any comments or anything the comment section's open down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm so sorry if you couldn't hear me in certain points towards the end. But we can't blame him. He's bored. <laughs> he wants to wake up to a camera, right? Are you depressed? Can you let them know why you're acting up? Is it baby sister? Oh, that's what you want. He wants the camera, but I don't want to let him touch the camera.